On today's show, we're taking M&Ms around the world. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Savor the Flavor. We try the foods you don't have to unless you want to. I'm your host, Stephen White. With me, as always, Katrina. And look, we have back is Crash. Yay. <laughs> so what we have here are three flavors of M&Ms that are new on the market. They're supposed to be a trip around the world, so they're all kind of hitting a specific country, a specific flavor to that country, and so on. And we thought we'd try them here. M&Ms are good. Yes. We, we like M&Ms, and they all seem to be peanut M&Ms, so yes. that's another bonus, I guess. I like peanut M&Ms. You like peanut M&Ms? Starless oh, favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I really don't know what else there is to say about them other than let's eat. First up we have English Toffee Peanut. Uh, I don't see which country, but I'm, I'm England. Toffee. And he's got the little. Oh, yep. And he's got the little, got the little flag, right there. So yeah, Britain, or will it be anytime soon? We don't know. I'm not getting into politics. And these are these are pretty big. I'm sure you can find them in small, regular sizes. But this is a shareable size because we're sharing. Sharing is caring, as my daughter likes to say. They're kind of the colors we got here, I've got yellow and kind of a goldish color. So does Katrina. Uh, Crash has got a brown one there. And I think there's a, no, there's just three colors. So you got gold, yellow, and brown. Kind of look like two, but okay. Yeah, but I bet you they taste good. They smell like M&Ms, so. I smell the toffee. It's not really an outlandish flavor for an M&M. It's really not even a, a hefty toffee flavor, but it's a, it's enough that you say, oh yeah, that's toffee. And you know, normally with toffee bars, like Heath bars or something like that, it's got that real hard crunch. These have none of that. It's just really the flavor. Now say if you like toffee, you like coffee, you know, because there's that similarity there, you'd re probably really dig them. Because they're not too far from removed from coffee M&Ms that we had previously, just with a peanut. Next we have Thai Coconut Peanut M&Ms. So Thailand, that sounds right. And I'll be the first to say I am not the biggest fan of coconut. However, I probably don't dislike it as much as I used to. What's the difference between Thai Coconut and a general coconut? Honestly, if it didn't say Thai Coconut, I would think they were from Hawaii. Yeah, that's what I assume. It looks... You got the little flavor. You know, m and has got a little flower in it. It's yeah. cute. And these are very, very colorful. They're uh, they look blue, very eastery. Blue, green, and white. Or this well, is not white. <laughs> I wouldn't say a white. What what color is that? Kind that of is. A, this is a cream. I was gonna say like the crayon color everybody uses to color in people. Yeah, and kind of like a like a cream color ish. Yeah. I can't even close the bag. I don't mm. smell coconut. I do. I don't. How am I smelling? Then again, I was like, um, well, <laughs> you're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, in case you didn't know, we're going to be grandparents. We are. Yeah. I dropped out of college to have a baby. <laughs> I'm proud. <laughs> anyway, no, I don't smell coconut. <laughs> so uh. let's let's bite into it right now. <laughs> mm, yep, there it is. That's weird. Mm. It's not even coconut. It's just... Tastes like an um, Almond Joy mm, candy bar. It is. I think they're the same people that make them. I mean, it's, it's definitely coconut flavored. Uh, I really don't even feel like the chocolate covers it up all that much. Again, Almond Joy, if you, if you eat those, this is probably up your alley. But I will say this coconut flavor is not as good as an Almond Joy. Because right. in the Almond Joy, you actually get the actual coconut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's got like a little bit of, I don't know, a better taste. This one, that first taste is just kind of meh. And maybe maybe you're a mounds person. You don't like almonds, but maybe you like peanuts. This could be a, a nice divide for you. You know, you want the peanut, but you don't want the almond. I'm not a coconut person. I don't know what it is. The, the flavor is not... I don't know what it is. It's just so unappealing to me. It's not a bad flavor, but for some reason, I just... My, my taste buds reject it. It's just like, I don't like this. See, I used to hate coconut because of the snowball... Mm. little cake things but then i had a german chocolate cake which they always have coconut and it was freaking amazing and now i love coconut always <laughs> loved coconut <laughs> well i even found a piece of coconut i think hmm. <laughs> All right. weird and lastly we have mexican jalapeno 
He's wearing a little sombrero and he's holding some peppers and the hot craze anymore is chocolate, pepper, chocolate, however you want to say it. Chili chocolate. Chocolate chili. Chocolate pepper chocolate. Chocolate pepper chocolate. And oh boy, these are colorful. Uh, All Mexican. Like, yeah, I was about to say, it's I'm like the Mexican flag one. in a bag. Oh wow, yeah, you can smell that. Woo! Yep, the bag, boy! <clears throat> I'm excited about these because I love spicy with sweet. It just works. And they had a, didn't they have a chili? There, there was a, a there was chili. A hot chili one? Yeah, but it was just a regular M&M, this peanut M&M, so. But jalapeno is a much different flavor than just spice. It is. Because chili doesn't really have that flavor. It is spice, but jalapenos do have a very distinctive flavor. So All I'm right. excited. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you definitely get the heat and the flavor. I like them. When you bite into it, the jalapeno is front and center. The more you chew, the chocolate kind of wastes it out, but then the heat comes right at the end. As soon as you wash out the taste, the heat of the jalapeno comes at the end and welcomes you and says, you, you ate a jalapeno, you dumb <laughs> So you have to have, I feel, you have to have that desire mm -hmm. for hot chocolate. I do not. Because like the chili one, you only really got the heat while you were eating it. Mm -hmm. And it kind of, I guess, dissipated really fast. This one doesn't. I can feel it all in my throat and my tongue, and it's amazing. Mm. <laughs> I like the faint spice, but I hate the flavor. It was awful. <laughs> I mean, it, it's really an acquired taste. I'm not gonna crap on it or anything, mainly because I know that there's a market for it, otherwise it wouldn't be here. But it's not for me. The coconut is not for me. The English toffee I dug. I, but these are good, just not something I would eagerly pick up. See, there you go. Between the three of us, you can have the toffee, Crash can have the coconut, mm -hmm. and I'll take the jalapeno. No, see, it works out. Look at that. <laughs> three and three. We all agreed on what we liked the most. That's the beauty of it. That's why we have a crowd. Uh, there you have it. Three new M&M flavors you can get on the market right now. I'm sure you can get them in little bags, big bags, whatever you can find. They're all out there, and if you want to vote for which one is your favorite, you can do that on one of their little websites. Vote to win and see, tell them which one you like. Tell us which one you like. If you agree with her, her, me, let us know. Comments down below. Uh, you can also view older videos right here, other content right here, all the other little things down here. Thank you for watching, and uh, keep eating.